inside the Kalashau Sports Complex in Pangasinan. And Javi, I'd like to get your... Uh... It's one guard that we failed to mention in our pregame discussion is former Makati guard Joseph Terso, who is also with Zamboanga. A lot of guys who can push and handle the basketball. How about the pressure being shown to us by Zamboanga? But that three-pointer goes in for Dennis Santos. Uh, that's something that they... He's pretty tall. That's correct. It's Santos with Mashon and Gotladera as Dennis fires and scores! He is so used to those catch and shoot opportunities knocking down his... For Dennis Santos, before this game, Javi, we were having a conversation about the ball used in this game. Yeah, that's correct. And you know, we said it, so we can't blame anyone for this. As Andre Arminion passes the ball inside and Mashon will finish. He has always been lined up and of course also because of his health that you mentioned. Look at that pass. Getting by three defenders with that semi-spin and then leaving it for... But Ladera in trouble. There's Santos wide open. Fake. Two dribbles. Step back. That looks good. So fluid. So smooth. Gabaini goes to Mahari. John penetrates, he hangs in the air and misses. Good offensive rebound and that is what Adi Santos does. Uh, that's the reason why guys like Adi Santos, these guys to be able to pull you upside. These are guys who play specific roles, back bodies inside. He hasn't played for quite a while. The leadership will always be Definitely. there. JC drives, JC scores, basket and one. Well, right on two, you mentioned leadership. Played JC Marcelino using the two man game with Joseph Gabaini on the left side, reading the defense so well. Coach Aldrin and his boys are strong individually, but they have to play more as a team. Sabi niya nga, together we are strong, divided we fall. Fun fact, Coach Aldrin is actually back in his old uniform as he. Zambuanga has a chance to grab the lead. Joseph Terzo wide open. That's too easy. Just like Andre Arminio and Joseph Terzo, great facilitator. Despite the hot shooting of Val City, they just grabbed the lead. 15 to 13, Joseph Terzo, welcome to another home. Renzo Subido and Joseph Terzo. And for the front line, it will be Joseph Gobaini, Adi Santos, and Ray Publico. He needs at least five guys in double figures per game. Uh, Katakutan. Once played for Nueva Ecija, although he wasn't really used under Coach Gerson, Cabiltes kept guessing what was he going to do. That time he found an opportunity to score just like Publico does. Nice feed by JV Marcelino, but now it's usually the other way yeah. around. <laughs> Renzo Subido back in his USD form. There you go. I had the opportunity. He's going to be a big tool in stopping the bigs of their opponents. As now Chauka gets an easy layup. You mentioned that matchup of Chauka and Subido in the backcourt. Publico going to Subido. One more feed and Omega gets an easy two. Mark Omega transferring from perpetual help to Letran for next year's NCAA season. He will be BL. Great pass. Subido back to JV and there's the finish. Great patience exhibited by the green shirts on that play. From the field. Great defense by Alas. Turnaround for CJ and Payawal will score. Everybody from this Valenzuela team just to witness in the MPBL as Val Chauka shows us what he can do. And that just goes to show you that well, Publico kick out to JV. Marcelino, one more pass. Ray turning around and scoring. Another possession. It's back to Chauka, their usual finisher or the usual finisher as they turn the ball over. So Bido from half court, that's no good. Alanya with Mika Bisamis and Andrea Indicio. Jeric Diego, her shot, her snake. That context, it might even highlight just how low that number is. As Jeric Diego makes the jumper, that's his second basket. Forward pass. Here come the Master Sardines. JV with an easy finish. That's JC Marcelino. He reminds me so much of myself when I was still. He looks like he has so much to give energy wise. JC against a taller defender. Marcelino escapes. And again, that's his strong side. You know what, I, uh, the other day, I think it was one of those podcasts that he had with LeBron oh, James. Oh, nice so steal. Marcelino gets the steal. 
Maybe we'll talk about it more later on in this matchup. Javi, break down the steal. Steal right there by JC Marcelino. Payawal not too careful right there bringing down that basketball. That's air ball. But the Dera gets the board. One more chance. Nem de la Cruz, specialty of the house. Great to see Nem de la Cruz. So Ignacio wide open for that three. Oh, nice screen for Joseph Cavani. Sorry, miss. But it became even better for the green shirts. And now for Valenzuela, they're experiencing lack of communication. Bounce pass, Omega, nice feed to Adi Santos. Adi Santos. This is a testament. Omega getting a good feed inside. What a scramble. Santos fires and scores. Now maganda pa para sa Val City. Welcome back to the fray, Mr. Santos. Uh, Sideline, Andre goes to Dennis, catch and shoot! Oh, it's in! What a first half for Dennis Santos! Green set by Chris De Chavez, leaving Kevin Alas, sorry, Kenneth Alas delayed. Boy, he goes left, Subido fakes, Subido is blocked! He thought about it, eight seconds. Dennis Santos trying to shake off his defender, he needs a teammate. Three seconds, Santos, he escapes, Dennis Santos! What a finish for the first half! He has 20 points! And then that slight hesitation after the handoff leading to that Euro step. That is good for Denis Santos. Could he be the ultimate scoring machine for Valenzuela? As Abuanga just got its eighth steal, nice speed, brother to brother. That's going to be something that Valenzuela will have to learn. Cup. Zambuanga will slow down, but JC saw daylight up and under with some magic in the air. And give a lot of credit to Ray Publico for recognizing to get inside with a dipsy do. Now this play of the game is brought to you by Buenas, the usual strong side for JC Marcelino. Most of the time where that ball will bounce after he shoots that shot. That's basketball 101 by JB. And on the other end, Dennis Santos continues to score. Chauka, who's been checked here. De Los Santos against Solis. Lefty versus lefty. Beat inside. Diego. There's the finish. For Zamboanga, they've been doubling a lot. Chauka goes down. Great defense by Zamboanga. Pass ahead. Gabbani will finish. So they just continue to be pesky defensively for Zamboanga. <laughs> Joey Barcuma is just doing a splendid job. Alas, Kenneth scores. The max. That's Kenneth Alas ahead of the pack. One guy to beat. And finishes with his right hand. Way to go, making his fall. How about that defense once again? But Katakutan recovers, and that's an absolute foul. And that's really the way that you attack to try to tie this game up and even get the lead. One of the stars of this league. Just missed the second gimme. Streaking on the other end. Joey Barcuma is fouled. And now we can zoom in. Beverly's oh, in the yeah. world. But can you think of a muscular point guard? Just the, the upper body also. The lower extremities really well developed. 35 seconds remaining. Katakutan. Cross court. Payawal for three. Man down. And that's an unspo against Mike De Los Santos as Joey Barcuma went down. If the pass was going to go over the top. Ayun. That's the first. Ayun lang naman. That's all it took for him to go down. He's been playing. It feels like he's been playing the whole game. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, he just missed his first gimme. Ejection for Mike De Los Santos. Second free throw converted by... Spins, kick out. Zobido for three! No good! 
And that's contest. it for our third. Yeah. Well, he did play well, especially on their home floor. The two times that Val City hosted last year. We can't expect He's on a good seating in the playoffs. 2-3 zone. Gabaini. In and out and in. Oh. Uh, he's always been known to be a big guy who has a soft touch. Scott Joey Barguba. And here's them. Three on the shot clock. De La Cruz has to fire. Layup. Great escape. Patience right there for Valenzuela. You just see City. how the swarming they need to score again. Uh, then De La Cruz uh, going to Fonzo Gordadera. Backdoor cut. Armignon, one more feed, and Pachon will finish. That pass actually was lucky that it came across Pachon. Andre, back to Fonzo. There's the shot and the make. Armignon has been impressive improvising out of the, that top pick and roll guy wide open Dennis Santos it's short offensive rebound Gotladera no foul but it falls onto the hands of Dennis Santos it's so frustrating for Zamboanga the effort is there Kenneth Alas back up JC they're on the shot clock Baseline drive, foul, and one. For Zamboanga, they've been a few possessions ago. It was a 1-3-1 one, one zone. The most of the board. Which always and that's a skill a and an like art that you really have to practice. Of the basket. So much experience also plays into that. Is this a 1-3-1? One, one? Just a 2-3. JC escapes. Same play as the last. Catching it on the right side. On the shot clock. What can he do? At 80% conditioning. Bonzo scores! So calm, so composed. Those kinds of contributions for Valenzuela in this game. 66 all. Terzo from the corner. Yes, sir! Uh, Terzo, he will not score. Oh, a steal by Oren. Break away for Katakutan. And that's a tap board for the layup. They're asking for a foul. JV Marcelino, the cross, the feed. Publico will finish. Two-man game. Katakutan. He fires. That's a three-pointer. And we are all tied. Got the ball on the left wing. Seven seconds. Got the data. Katakutan. Three seconds. Orin will fire. No good. And for the first game in the MPBL sixth uh, season. On JV. Sambuanga is on the run. Marcelino. Oh, great trail job by Adi Santos. I was already going to say excellent. Dribble that basketball through the contact. 75-72, Renzo Subido escaping and scoring. Slow, deliberate attack, turning the corners. Renzo Subido basket, no help after that initial defender was bumped off. Quite similar to what Andre Arminion. JV up top. JC now has the ball. He goes right. Marcelino zigzagging, two seconds, turnaround shot, and that's an MVP type of play. Dennis almost traveled. Nem de la Cruz now has it. He fires. No good. With 16 seconds to go, Zamboanga gets possession. And but all things considered, Valenzuela still played a great game, if not for those poor decisions down the stretch here in overtime. Nine it seems like Val City won't foul anymore, and that's it. So the Zamboanga Master Sardines will win the first game of the MPBL's sixth season. And